So Bitcoin has dropped heavily in price these past few days. And alongside of it, there's been some news coming out about a potential double spend attack happening on the Bitcoin blockchain. And so you might be wondering, what is that all about? How does that affect my precious Bitcoin? Is it something serious or is it something that's just FUD or fear, uncertainty and doubt? So I wanted to make this impromptu video because it's definitely not one that I had planned, but I think it's good to dive deeper into this whole issue and learn about it so that in the future, when something like this may happen again, you'll be better equipped to judge for yourself what they're talking about and how you should act upon it. So if that sounds useful to you, you know what to do. Sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. Welcome back to Bitcoin for Beginners. I'm your host, Kevin, and in this channel, we're all about deep research and honest opinions with no frills nor fluff. As always, I leave timestamps down below for you, and please like and subscribe if you love cheaper Bitcoin so you can buy the dip. So I think it'd be good to start off by taking a quick look at this article that started all this discussion about a double spin attack happening to the Bitcoin blockchain and just summarizing it for you before we analyze it and dissect it to see if it's something that we should be really worried about. So it was posted on Cointelegraph less than a day ago, and essentially it points out how BitMEX research has spotted a double spent Bitcoin transaction in the wild amounting to roughly $21 to $22. And the Bitcoin which was double spent was roughly 0 0.0006 BTC. And BitMEX research is a service that kind of monitors the Bitcoin network for things like double spends, reorgs of the blockchains and other things going on. And all they did was state the fact that two different mining pools had different blocks, each with a double spent amount of Bitcoin per se. And they also interviewed a Bitcoin SV, which is a rival fork of the Bitcoin BTC blockchain. And they were saying things like, it appears that an actual double spend has occurred on BTC, not a replace by fee, but an actual double spend, a mere 22 USD, but this could have been 22 million. So that's really scary, right? Because if 22 million USD worth of Bitcoin was double spent, that would be a travesty for the entire Bitcoin system. But fortunately, that's not really possible if you understand how Bitcoin's blockchain and Bitcoin system is set up. And so let's dive into that a little bit further to understand why most of this is just FUD or fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And you shouldn't really be worried about it. And your Bitcoin is fine for now and in the future too. All right, so Andreas Antonopoulos, an OG Bitcoin advocate and evangelist, has written a long Twitter thread, breaking it down, I'll link you below as well, about why you should pretty much ignore this and Bitcoin is functioning fine and there's nothing wrong with what happened at all. But I'll try to explain it in my own words for you too. Essentially, let's say the blockchain currently for Bitcoin is 1 million blocks long, right? All the way from block one, which is what Satoshi mined, to block 1 million, which is whatever, some minor mine, right? And let's say two new blocks, different ones were mined at the same time. And they both included different transactions from someone trying to spend the same Bitcoin. So let's say that I have like one Bitcoin and I sent it to someone to buy a car from them. And then I sent it to my buddy and like, hey, I'll let you borrow this, we have to send it back. I broadcast those two transactions and let's say it's kind of rare, but it's definitely possible for it to get mined by two different miners included in their two different blocks around the same time. So there's block A and block B, both with my Bitcoin trying to be spent for different purposes. And then those miners mine it and include it onto the 1 million block long blockchain. And so now there's 1 million and one length and also 1 million and one length. They're equal length. So one is version A, one is version B. We don't know which one's gonna be the eventual one yet, right? You gotta wait, it depends. So the next time someone mines a block, they add it to the blockchain. And then they're like, hey guys, I found a new block and here's my 1 million and two block long chain. Please take this as the truth, as the one that has the most collective work. So the right one. And so they broadcast that out. And then when the ones that have 1 million and 1 version B, for example, they're like, oh, there's a 1 million 2 block long chain. Let's take that instead, discard the old one, and that block gets discarded and all those transactions get put back in the pool of unconfirmed transactions from different miners to take in the future. And so the point is that that second transaction I try to send again 
gets invalidated in the future because they check it and they're like, hey, this Bitcoin has already been spent. This is the UTXO transaction accounting that Bitcoin uses. And they're like, hey, that's already been spent because you can check that. You can revert it back in the blockchain to see has that been spent before. And because they find that it has, it gets invalidated and ignored forever. And so a double spend will never really happen in the Bitcoin system because once it sees that, it takes one as truth and it invalidates the other. And so when they talk about something called a reorg or reorganization, that's what they mean, right? When you have a blockchain, but then a new one comes out that's even longer, that's when it's reorged because you discard the old one and keep the new one. And a double spend attack never really happens because in the long run, there's only one of those transactions that someone sends out for two different purposes ever gets kept as valid. The only point in which this would come in trouble is if you're a seller. Let's say you're trying to sell someone a TV for some Bitcoin and you take one transaction, you're like, okay, one transaction has happened, that's fine. In which case you can let them walk away with the TV. But then a reorg happens and then you're like, oh wait, he spent that Bitcoin for something else. So the one originally I took as confirmed got discarded. So I leave without any Bitcoin and with one less TV to sell as well. That's not good. That's why they recommend waiting for multiple confirmations. And what I mean by that is more and more blocks getting successfully built on top of the one that includes the one with a payment to you or with Bitcoin being sent to you. That's why people recommend waiting for more and more confirmations. But in this case, I mean, it could have been fine, right? It's $21 with a Bitcoin. So maybe they waited for two plus confirmations, in which case they're like, hey, your thing got invalidated after only one confirmation, you didn't successfully pay me. So I'm not gonna give you whatever they were paying for yet, right? But also, you know, some companies already just accept payments with no credit card signature, in which case it's the same thing, it's the same risk profile that they're willing to handle, in which case they might have lost 21 bucks worth of Bitcoin, but it's probably, just the same as them handling chargebacks for credit cards too. So it really depends on your context and situation, but in this case, it was totally fine. Bitcoin worked exactly as planned. There was no double spend attack and there was no potential harm done as well either. We're not sure because we don't know who spent it and what it was for, right? So, I mean, just taking a step back, we really got to ask ourselves, why is all this FUD or fear, uncertainty and doubt spreading and what is its purpose, right? It really could be like institutions trying to get us guppies to panic and panic sell our Bitcoin in which they can scoop it up at a cheaper price for mad gains later, right? Or it's just people who had cash on the sideline waiting for the dip so they can buy more at a better price. They're loving this FUD spreading. They're like, spread this some more so that I can buy at cheaper prices. So we really got to be more educated so we don't panic sell and we really understand that all of this is fine. Bitcoin is totally fine and now is a better time than ever to hodl strong and buy some more of the dip. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think. Of course, this is not a comprehensive explanation of how the Bitcoin blockchain and system works. I definitely recommend you to take a look at other videos in that regards. But I hope this was helpful to clear up the FUD and that you should not worry at all. I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you all next time.